Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and today I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City on the Atlantic City Boardwalk. I'm at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in a nice corner room here in the North Tower. I'm heading over to Doherty's Oyster Bar um, at Resorts, which is right up the boardwalk here a little bit. So we're going to head over there. I tried making reservations at Doc's Oyster House, which is the same company, basically, same family-owned businesses. Um, but they don't take reservations for one, which I thought was kind of odd. But again, it is the season here in Atlantic City, so I might be able to understand that. That being said, I did shoot off an email to Doc's Oyster House. Hopefully they'll take me sometime in the near future because I really want to bring that place to you guys. Uh, some of you have suggested that I go there and now that I've done my research, it reminds me kind of like New Orleans a little bit. So hopefully I'll get there soon. But in the meantime, gonna head over to Resorts, uh, Doggety's uh, Oyster Bar and uh, have some dinner there and I'm gonna bring you guys along and let's check it out, shall we? Before I head out to the boardwalk, just a quick uh, view of my room here, the corner room in the north tower of the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Let's take a look. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. And a shout out to Elliot G who found Clarice, the Miss America crown in my last Atlantic City video, the Boardwalk Tram video. Congratulations, Elliot G. Good going. You know, it's always up for debate who likes the North Tower and who likes the South Tower here at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, the uh, South Tower being the original Trump Taj Mahal. Personally, I like the North Tower just a little bit more. I wouldn't mind staying at either one of them, to tell you the truth, but the North Tower has those beautiful floor-to-ceiling windows, and to me, that makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, but as you can see, it's quite a walk to the main hotel and casino, whereas the South Tower is located right above the casino floor. Hold on tight. If you're not familiar with Atlantic City, uh, the Hard Rock Hotel, which is where I'm staying, is 
right next door to resorts. And of course, the steel pier is right across from the hard rock. So everything is within uh, walking distance in this area. So we're gonna head into resorts. Let's uh, see what's going on inside. Head upstairs and check out Dorgadi's Oyster House, shall we? Now before we go even further into this video, I realized at this point that I've called this place two or three different names. The actual name is Doggerty's Steakhouse and Raw Bar. I must have called it the Doggerty's Oyster Bar or the Doggerty's Oyster House. And it's just because they had Harry's Oyster Bar, they have Doc's Oyster House, and I, I get easily confused. You guys know me by now, but the actual name of this place is Doggerty's Steakhouse and Raw Bar. I'm sure I'll make up some more names as I go along during this video. So I'm not used to uh, making reservations, but Seeing as uh, COVID regulations are easing up a lot and these casinos are filling up a lot, I might have to start making reservations soon, which is probably why I had an issue with uh, uh, Dot's Oyster House, but I'll get there eventually. But in the meantime, hopefully, I can get into Dorgadi's Oyster House. Let's head upstairs. While I'm editing this video, I'm laughing at how many different names I have called this place. And you know what? The word oyster isn't even in the name. It's Doggerty's Steakhouse and Raw Bar. Obviously, these people aren't sponsoring the channel because if they were, I'd have to go back and re-edit this entire video. By the way, I am visiting during happy hour, and this is the happy hour menu. I do plan on ordering off the happy hour menu. Uh, lots of specials at more inexpensive prices than what you usually find here. And uh, they also have live entertainment during happy hour as well. So what have I decided on? Well, I'm going to start off with a nice glass of Pinot Noir. For an appetizer, I'm going to get the coconut shrimp with the apricot pineapple sauce. And for the entree, I'm getting the ribeye steak sandwich with the balsamic onions, Havarti cheese, and creamy horseradish. So I placed my order and I just want to show you guys around the joint a little bit. We are obviously in the raw bar area. This isn't the steakhouse area. That's a separate area here at Dargerty's. And I don't believe the steakhouse is open yet. It's opening in uh, probably about an hour or two. But uh, just want to give you guys a walking tour of this area before my wine comes.
Pino Noir. Cheers, guys. That's good. That's good. Shortly after the Pinot Noir came out, my coconut shrimp appetizer came out. And again, this is a happy hour, so uh, portions are a little bit smaller. But I got three really large shrimp, and they were perfectly fried. Uh, that coconut really came through strong, and it came with a uh, apricot dipping sauce. Everything was delicious. And by the way, that glass, I don't know if it's my camera lens or what, but that glass looked bigger than my head. It's really not that big. I'm editing the video and I'm like, oh my goodness, that glass looks huge, but it's just your average size wine glass. Maybe a little bit bigger, but they only filled it to, uh, I'm gonna say about six, maybe eight ounces tops. Now, I think this coconut shrimp appetizer cost $8, the uh, happy hour size. And I have to tell you, only three shrimp, but each shrimp was like four or five forkfuls. They're huge. So I think my camera's playing tricks on me because that wine glass looked huge and these shrimp look actually smaller than what they actually were. The coconut shrimp was delicious. That was a um, happy hour size portion. I believe the regular appetizer portion is a little bit larger, but three was more than enough. Uh, very filling. I'm enjoying the uh, shrimp. I'm enjoying the wine. Can't wait to see what that steak looks like. Hey, if you're digging this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and while you're at it, subscribe to the New York channel. You know it helps the channel out. Thank you so much. When the ribeye steak sandwich came out, I was blown away. It just looked and smelled delicious. It has those balsamic sauteed onions, which brought a little bit of sweetness to the sandwich, that Havarti cheese, which was just melty and ooey and gooey all around that beautifully cooked steak, that ribeye steak that they uh, sliced nicely for the sandwich. And it had a little bit of creamy horseradish to bring a little bit of heat to this sandwich. And I have to tell you, it was a perfect ribeye steak sandwich. You know how sometimes when you bite into a ribeye steak sandwich and half the steak comes out on your first bite because it just doesn't break apart, this melted like butter the moment you bit into it. It was extremely tender. Like I said, it just broke apart in your mouth. It was very juicy and very flavorful. The fries were awesome as well. They were crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, and perfectly seasoned. And by the way, that's a true ribeye steak sandwich. It's not that shaved stuff where you really don't know what kind of beef you're getting. It's not shaved. It's really a true ribeye cut. So my glass of Van Duzer Pinot Noir came to $12, the uh, Happy Hour Coconut Shrimp came to $8, and the ribeye sandwich, that wonderful ribeye sandwich, came to $16, $36 total. I think that's pretty good for my meal tonight. So dinner came to $38 without a tip. I thought it was reasonable. I mean, I had the coconut shrimp, I had a nice glass of Pinot Noir, and that steak sandwich which was one of the better steak sandwiches I've had in a long time. So we'll head out to the beach and we'll talk about it a little bit more.
I love Bar One here at Resorts. There's always something going on, some kind of pop-up theme thing. Uh, for this summer, it's uh, Under the Sea, I think is the theme. It's right now called the Coral Lounge, although it's officially known as Bar One. But every time you pass this place, something is going on. Small place, but really big impact on this hotel. Uh, it's always doing something special. Hey guys, this video has some bonus footage at the very end, and I mean the very end, so I suggest you stay tuned all the way through to the very end. A new feature on the New York channel is the Super Thanks button, which is close to that thumbs up button that I know you've already clicked on. Clicking on that Super Thanks button not only shows your support for the New York channel, but really helps the channel grow. And doing so will let you leave a colorful comment pinned above all other comments here on this video. So I enjoyed my uh Happy hour dinner at Dorgadi's Oyster House, or Oyster Bar. Uh, the steak was really good, the steak sandwich. I had a steak sandwich there back in October. In October here in Atlantic City, they have a restaurant week, and uh, I started doing videos here for restaurant week, but then a little family matter came up and I couldn't complete it, but I'm definitely gonna come back here in uh, next October to do some more videos here on all the restaurants. All these hotels and casinos uh, participate in restaurant week, so uh, I did go to Doherty's Zen, and uh, I had the steak sandwich there, so little, uh, little spoiler alert I had this sandwich once before but it was so good I wanted to try it again so um, again $40 not including the tip I think it was worth it I had a nice glass of Pinot Noir the uh, coconut shrimp and the steak sandwich definitely worth 40 bucks so uh, stay tuned for more I'm going to be doing more here in uh, Atlantic City as far as food and hopefully I'll get to Doc's Steakhouse this Doc's Oyster House, which is where I originally wanted to go today. Uh, hopefully I'll be bringing you something from there soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city. thought that was the end of the video, didn't you? Never assume anything on the New York channel. <laughs>